Okay, so I've actually had a bit of a technical issue with my presentation, my PowerPoint, so there won't be one. But to be honest, my project, my presentation, it doesn't really need a PowerPoint to describe. It doesn't need all the fancy statistics. It's really a feeling that's in each and every one of you. And that question starts with, what does it mean to adapt? To adapt can be defined in many different ways. It could mean to overcome and change to new conditions, to make something suitable for a new purpose, or just modify an existing thing. Everything around us adapts. Our houses, our cars, our, even our minds through evolution and imagination. However, the one thing that has not changed or adapted in over 244 years is the curriculum taught in our school system. That nurture, the school system nurtures the most important things we have as a species, our young. And while this may sound harsh, every day of my 11, almost 12 full years of school, I have learned another useless thing after another that will affect my life outside of school a total of 0%. And most of it, I forgot. And I know looking around you at all these students in here, I'm sure y'all are in the same boat. Very few things I can say will help me continue to grow as a person or even in my work once I leave school. Curriculum and the school system should have started, started adapting a long time ago because our world is constantly changing. And yet I'm still learning the same things we were learning at the start of the United States, just with new book covers that say 2021 or 2022. First, the modern school system. Did you know that schools in the modern school system were originally made to send people to factories? That's why we sit in rows just like y'all are today and why we raise our hands before we speak. It's even why they give us grades to make us compete. A is the best because that's the best grade you can get on meats. Grade A, meat. But now we live in a totally different world than we did back then when everybody in the town went to work at the factory down the street. Now we live in a world where people fly across the country to create new medical, scientific, and mathematic feats. And yet, the school system remains the same. I mean, look around. Y'all are all sitting in tables lined up in rows. And after this very presentation, I'm going to ask y'all all to raise your hands to ask questions. How modern is that? I argue, I argue the only thing it is is ancient. The next issue, and anyone who went to public school will understand, is standardized testing. Any biologist, psychologist, or evolutionist will tell you that no two brains are the same. And yet every single year, students, uh, schools put students through these ridiculous and crude tests that force them into molding a mind that isn't necessary for today's society. The creator of standardized testing, Frederick Healy said, these tests are true crude to be used and should be abandoned immediately. That was the very own creator of standardized testing. And if you don't believe me, you can check my sources. And don't worry, it's an MLA because I know that's all that y'all know how to accept. By no means though am I blaming the teachers. Many of them chose this path to open and touch the hearts and minds of all the children that they come into contact with. And many of them, as people, are golden and should be preserved because they help fight for every student that comes walking through the door. However, the system itself is forcing them into only teaching what will be on the test so that these kids don't have to go to summer school and be away from their friends in times that they need to be out and experience social activities or to be held back and become social outcasts because they were the older kid or they were the one who was a little bit slower in understanding concepts that were presented during school. Unfortunately, these things are just the beginning of the problem and are very, really a very minimal part of it. The biggest issue is our curriculum in itself. More often than not, whenever I am taught something in school, my first question is, is this gonna be on the test? And if the response is no, I just stop listening. Uh, because if it's not on the test, why should I learn how King Henry, Henry VIII killed his wives? To be honest, I could care less. I have always made good grades, and I will be the very first to brag whenever I score slightly higher than my friends on an assignment 
or a test, but not for a minute do I think I am smarter than them because of it. All that great show is how well I can remember that King Henry VIII's wives got divorced, beheaded, and died, and then divorced, beheaded, and survived. It shows no real understanding of the topic, and granted, that is a hard thing to understand. However, it's just the tip of the iceberg. More practical and relevant things to our time would be to teach students how to get first aid, how to pay their taxes, or how to mentally deal with something that is unplanned. The modern school system's curriculum needs to be improved drastically. In our more modern worlds, useless information needs to be sorted out. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not supporting the complete removal because common knowledge, like the history of the world, is important. But I am not just in fact supporting, but demanding the information in the school system should not be as stressed as much as schools need to focus on more practical skills. Schools should also build up students' social skills because those skills are viewed as more important in the modern world. Take Elon Musk, for example, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. He built his career out of a small office, which he lived in as well, to save money. I would like to showcase some of what he has said because it shows a lot about how our world has progressed past just who has the college degree and who went to the most prestigious school. In many cases, Elon talks about how the more important things that he looks for when hiring, and he does all of the hiring individually for his companies, are how they can treat others, what sort of progress they have made in themselves over the past few years, and what kind of work they have put in to getting to where they are. His words just further highlight that the curriculum needs to be revised. Because if something is unnecessary, why would so many people either be forced to learn it or choose to learn it just so they can fit to societal norms? The main issue is that education is required. That is mainly unnecessary and overwhelming, and the skills that are important are overlooked. We as students are perfect examples. Well, at least I can say it myself. But I never took a class on life skills, like taxes or how to come problems in life overcome problems in life, but I did take an algebra class. And when we as students go into the real world and face actually tough emotional and mental challenges, we need to know how to deal with that because Pythagorean theorem is not going to fix it. Over the years, the school system has failed time and time again by teaching a flawed curriculum created by policymakers who have never taught a day in their life. It is time to walk away from methodologies, methodologies of teaching and th that take overwhelming and useless information and apply it to a group that needs more. If you can't explain why certain curriculum is applicable to a majority of students' lives, it should not be mandatory in the same ways that animals act off instinct. A fish only needs to survive. Therefore, it has no unnecessary skills. A fish has no need to climb a tree.